thanks for coming out tonight, you guys. It's great to see so many patriots and wonderful faces. I see so many people I recognize. Um, I just want to tell you I appreciate all of you. So we're coming up. We've got 19 days till the primary. So, and I've heard from people that they've already got their ballots. I need mine. Make sure you're checking that box next to my name, Alicia Beeler. <laughs> um, so my mind is a little bit frazzled. It's It's been a, a busy six months, has it been? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it would get easier when uh, my class ended and it just got busier. So um, so I've got a plan to get the economy going again. And I think that's really important because we're facing a really devastating revenue shortfall when they go back into session, when we go back, in, when I go back into session. Let's do it that way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, so my plan is pretty simple. We start with a zero-based budgeting plan. We start from the bottom, work our way up. That way, people are only getting exactly what they need in government offices. They're not getting more. They're not getting that end-of-the-year rush to spend all of their money like they do every year to be able to get the same amount or more the next year. So that cuts that off. Um, also, people have been working from home, so there's a lot of money that didn't get used because of consumables. Consumables were not being used, so that's something that they should be doing right now. And I haven't heard anything about that from anyone. Um, number two, we use the power of the auditor. And the auditor goes in and looks at the programs where the grants are going in. People apply for it. They get the money, the programs. Once that money goes out, there's no nobody watching it. They get the money and then no one knows where it goes. So we look we use the power of the auditor, we look at where that money is going, and we make sure it's being used for what it's being used, supposed to be used for, and if it's not, we pull it back. It's that simple. Um, we, we've seen $650 million go into the, sorry, bug, um, go into the uh, homeless problem in Seattle, and what, what, have we, what have we seen from that? It's only gotten worse. So um, we need to make sure that the money is being used as it was intended to be used. Number three. We need less regulation. We need less regulation on our small businesses. We need less regulation on our construction and building industry. Uh, we need less regulation all around. We need a smaller government. The government has grown way too big. Its britches have gotten too big, and it's time to put it in check. Heck yes. Uh, number four. Um, oh, gosh. We do not need new taxes. We don't need new taxes. We don't need a state income tax. We don't need a pay per mile tracking every movement GPS tax. We do not need that. I won't have it. And I know most of you feel the same way. Um, if we put in that state income tax like the Democrats are pushing for, all of the big businesses, all of the businesses are just going to be like, I'm out, peace, peace Washington. That's what keeps them here. That's why they came here, because we didn't have a state income tax. So um, that's how we keep our businesses here. And I mean, that's huge. We've got an Amazon warehouse going in uh, right by the Bremerton Airport. We've got billions of dollars about to go into the Naval Puget Sound shipyard, and that's going to bring in more people. So um, that is more money we're going to collect here. But we're also facing a, a housing crisis, which is, goes back to the uh, less regulation. We need to create houses. We need to create them faster. We need to get people in them at a reasonable cost. This is going to help with the home, homeless crisis as well. We're seeing more and more homeless throughout the county. Um, they're coming over from Seattle or they're shipping them up from California, however they're doing it. But we need to address it and we need to address it now. Um, it is, it's getting beyond the point of being able to control it. So, um, and then number five, we have uh, state colleges across the state. Their presidents are making more than Governor Inslee. The president right there at Olympic College is making more than Governor Inslee. I hate seeing his name. <laughs> I know, right? So we cut their, 
we cut their salaries by 25%. The vice presidents, we cut them by 20%. The admin staff, 10 to 15. They're still going to be making a ton of, ton of money, people. We cut it. This is going to hurt for a little bit. It's going to hurt. We're going to have to make some sacrifices until we can get back on track. And it doesn't help that Inslee keeps threatening. I said it again. <laughs> that that governor of ours keeps threatening to lock us down again. It's not good for the people of Washington. It's not good for our businesses. It's not good for our mental health. Um, and we need someone that is gonna go in there and fight that. And you know that's across the stream, not just the governor, that's all the left. They all wanna do that. They all want the bigger government. They all want the government to control their lives. And I am not about that. We need a small, limited government just like the Constitution intended. I want to thank you all for being here today. I'm going to get running. Um, if anyone didn't get my literature, Glennie's got some up here. And um, you can learn a little bit more about me at www.aliciabeeler.com. My platform is on there. Um, I'm ready to get work to work for you guys. I've been literally and figuratively working my butt off. I got told three times today I need to get smaller pants. So I would dug into my box at home and pulled out some smaller jeans. So, <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing, right? We've hit 7,000 doors so far. We've been working hard. Um, we've got um, sign waving coming up. If anyone wants to volunteer to do any of those things, please let me know. I will put you to work, and I will do it in small increments so we don't all hurt our old bodies. Okay? <laughs> I appreciate all of you, and I will honor you, I will respect you, and I will represent you with integrity. And lastly, I will never lie to you, okay?